Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to continue with um, our another video tutorial on how to create a key trigger for your patterns. This time we're going to actually use a Kong to um, use the pads inside the Kong to trigger the patterns. So let's get started on doing that. Uh, first thing we do is create a combinator. Underneath the combinator we're going to create a 6-2 mixer and then we're also going to create a subtractor. This is going to be our sound source and now we're going to hold shift key hold the shift key down and we're going to create a thor and then inside the thor i have set up a initialize patch and this initializes everything turns everything down to zero um, and this is the way we want it we're going to select the step run mode we're going to create a two pattern step the first pattern, we're going to set this to curve. First uh, step in the pattern is going to be 0. Second step is going to be 127. We're going to take that and we're going to duplicate it. And then underneath that, we are going to change the step mode to repeat. Uh, we're going to change the curve back to notes. We're going to reset this. And we're going to change the steps back to 16 steps. And I'm just going to create a random pattern in here. So with that done, what we are also going to do is move the subtractor beneath the um, Thor devices. This is going to just make things a little bit easier when we go to root things or route things. Um, now, what we're going to do on the second Thor, this is going to be your pattern. So we'll just label it pattern. And then the first Thor, I'm going to label it latch. I'm going to select the mixer, I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to create a Kong drum designer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the note from the pattern Thor, and I'm going to send the note to the CV, I'm going to send the gate to the gate, and then let's go back up here, and we are going to take this pad, I should kind of figure this out a little bit. Okay, the first pad is going to be the temporary mode. Um, and then the second pad is going to be the latch mode or latch pattern. Okay, so the what we're going to do First thing is first, we're going to send the curve one of the um, latch Thor into the gate trigger, the second one. Okay, but before we do that, let us change this back to zero so that it's not sending anything out. But the curve one is going to go into the gate trigger. We're also going to send the second um, pad into the gate trigger of the first Thor, which is going to be your latch. We're going to send the gate out for the first one. It's going to go into the CV1 of the pattern. Now, when you play this, it's not going to play anything. Okay, so when you play the latch pattern, it's playing properly. And let's see what else we need to do. Okay, so next thing we're going to do in the pattern, we're going to take CV input 1. It's going to go 100, and the destination is going to be the step sequencer trigger. Okay, so that should trigger this to repeat. So now when you play the first um, temporary pattern or the um, momentary pattern, it'll play until you let go of the key or until you let go of the uh, pad. On the latch pattern, it's going to play until you press it again. So there's your two modes. So with that being done, we're now going to add... Um, this basically is, is all you need to do to set up the, the temporary pattern here and the latch pattern here. What we're going to do is we're going to actually add something else in here. We're going to add a one-shot repeat. So you can change out um, on what you want to have done. You 
you can change it to be either one shot or a repeat uh, run mode for your pattern. And the best way to do this, if we turn this around, we're going to open up our programmer to see the new CV inputs. We are going to take the third pad, send it up to the CV1, change the CV1 switch to unipolar, change the trim knob to 127, flip it around. Um, we're also going to remove the received notes on all of these devices except for the Kong. We're going to leave the Kong as it is and we want it to receive notes. But on the pattern now, what we can do is we can take the CV input 1 and we can change this to, or we can select the run mode. And the run mode is going to be going from 2 to 3, I believe. 2 to 3. So that way, it's going to change it between the repeat and the one shot. When you press this, it's now going to be going on to one shot. When you press the pad again, it's going to go back to repeat, which it's not doing. And why is it not doing that? Two, three. Let's see. Does this do it? No, it keeps it at one shot. Okay. Try that again. That goes to one shot, but it doesn't go back. Okay, the reason is what you've got to do is duplicate this device. Hold down Shift when you duplicate it. And now up here, we'll change this copy and call this the one shot. Okay, now in here, we're going to send, actually, let's go down here. Let's, we're going to take CV input one. It's going to go 100 to the step sequencer trigger and we are going to take this we're going to put it into the um, curve output and we're going to send pad number three into the CV1 now when we press this it should change it to repeat which it does if you press it again it's going to go to one shot Okay, so that'll change it from the one shot to the repeat. And there you have it, folks. That is a way that you can get your pattern to trigger temporarily. You can latch it, and you can change it to a one shot. Now, when you would change it to a one shot, one thing to keep in mind is that both of these pads will now act exactly the same way. It's going to play the pattern through once, and then it's going to stop. Same thing here. Okay, if you change it back again, it's going to go back to the normal mode, which is the temporary mode and the latch mode. Okay, so that's basically the way you set it up. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this gives you some new ways that you can use your Kong device. And uh, stay with me. Come visit me at reason101.net. I'll make this patch available, and I will keep on producing some more videos for your educational benefit. Thanks a lot for watching.